We're back on 9 News at Night. Have you heard of these guys? The Belly Fire Pottery Studio hosting first ever Thanksgiving Kids Camp uh, next week. Uh, let the kids explore the possibilities of creating clay. Here to tell us more about it, Belly Founder, Founder, Belly Fire Founder, <coughs> David Rollins, and the uh, program coordinator, uh, Leah Eichenauer. And Leah and uh, David, welcome, first of all. Thank you for bringing the stuff. Yeah, thank you, you all for having, having us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's we, got a, uh, an interesting foot pedal down yeah. here that's going to make this thing spin, and this is called a what? It's a wheel. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so this controls the speed of the wheel. It does, yes. All right, yes. you want to do something while we chat? Ab absolutely, yeah. Let's see if uh, I can. Uh -oh. I'm so ADD, we'll see if I can do it simultaneously. Uh, look at this. So, so Leah, talk to me about the kids' camp. It's uh, for 7 to 14 year olds, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at Thanksgiving week. And that's going to be from 8.30 to 11.30. A little more about the camp. Absolutely. So what kind of sets this camp apart from our other camps is the project-based model that we're incorporating. So it really allows us to focus on tuning those in-depth techniques and really, really fine-tuning their craftsmanship. It also allows... Sorry, for the project, it also allows children doing ceramics is wonderful for their fine motor skills, for their problem solving skills, their out of the box thinking, for their discipline. It also can work as a form of tactile therapy. And so it's really beneficial for children's development, creativity wise, and it's a wonderful time. They always have such an amazing time. And David, while you're continuing to work on yeah. that, tell, tell me a little about Belly Fire. Yeah, so I. Uh, Highland and Lee. Highland and Lee, yes. Um, we have sort of two parts of the business. The front, uh, the front of house is where we have our paint your own pottery and then the back of the house is like where our kind of studio is. Um, and we offer uh, birthday parties, kids camps, uh, evening classes. We have wheel throwing classes every night of the week. Um, we have studio rental space. Uh, in the new year we're going to start doing glass blowing classes uh, and some virtual classes where we actually ship you a wheel um, and kind of do a virtual class, a virtual, um, you know, eight, four to eight week curriculum. Um, but what we're doing, what we're here today to talk about is our Thanksgiving camp, which I'm really excited about. That is so, yeah. so incredible for the kids. Now, how do we get involved in that? If I'm a parent, how do I get my kid to sign up? So you just go to our website um, and sign up directly from there. If you use code WAFB, you can get 10% off. So we have uh, the full three-day session, which is from Monday, next Monday uh, to Wednesday. Uh, but if you want to do just an individual day, they can do that as well. Uh, and what is the website? Bellyfirestudios.com. And look at this. This is uh, these are some items yeah, you've this made. One's, this one's for uh, for you guys at the studio. Oh no! Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Well, except that on behalf of WAFB, yeah. different things in it. And this thing is heavy, so you guys have to. Kil cook this in a kiln, and that's not just like an oven temperature. These are what? It's like 2,000 plus degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so the temperature yeah. can range based on what kind of clay or glaze you're using, whether it's a mid range or a high fire. So it can, you know, range from 1,600 degrees all the way up to 2,400 mm -hmm. degrees. Yeah. Okay, so you've got this. Cup. Yeah, you want me to, you want to finish it? Can well, how do you second, take or? that off of the thing once you're done? So you're going to take a wire, I, I would trim the bottom, mm -hmm. take the wire, uh, kind of just detach it from the wheel, and then use a heat gun to dry it off, and then pop it, let it let it dry out a little bit, pop it in the kiln, and then it's ready about 12 hours later. That's so cool. You guys got a few minutes to stick around? Absolutely. All right, we have more of 9 News at 9 coming up, but we're going to keep uh, Lee and David here for a little while longer, and we're going to come back right after a short break. Stay with us on WA.